Welcome to the View Toast tutorial. With the Sync Fusion View Toast component, you can show a small pop up that displays messages, alerts, or notifications on the screen. In this video, you will see how to add the Toast component to the View application. I will also show you the available Toast positions, how to set the timeout value, and render the Toast content using an HTML template. Before proceeding, make sure you have installed the latest versions of Vue and Node.js. I will use Visual Studio Code as my editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. To create a project in Vue, open Visual Studio Code and type the command npm create vite at latest. I set my app name as my Vue app. Next, choose Vue as the framework and JavaScript as the variant. A Vue project is created. I navigate to the newly created Vue app and install the required dependencies using the command npm install. Now, the application is configured with the default settings of a V project. To use the Toast component, I type the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 view notifications hyphen hyphen save to install the notifications package with its dependencies. Next, I must register the trial license key to use Syncfusion components. I open the main JS file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. For instructions on generating a trial key, refer to the link in this video's description. To add the Toast component, I open the app view file and remove the default code. Then import Toast component from the Syncfusion View Notifications package. I add a division element with the class container. Then include the Toast component within it by adding the EGS Toast tag. To add the CSS references in the style tag, I import material theme styles and add a padding style to the container class to align the division element. Next, add a title and content to the toast. Set the title and content properties with appropriate text content. As the toast component displays temporary messages or notifications for specified conditions, it will not be visible initially on the output page. So I need to invoke the show method explicitly to display the component. For demonstration purposes, I will display the toast with a button click using the Sync Fusion View button component. So, install the package using the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 view buttons hyphen hyphen save. I import the button component from the Sync Fusion View buttons package. This button dynamically shows and closes the toast component by calling the appropriate methods in the onclick event handler. Before proceeding further, I need to create a reference for the toast to access its built-in methods. So I set the ref attribute with appropriate value. Then I declare a variable toast object and assign ref as null. To use this ref, I import it from the view package. Here, I plan to add two buttons, one for showing the toast, and the other for hiding it. I set the appropriate content for buttons. I also add a click event for each button, with appropriate event handlers. I define the event handler, and invoke the show method within it, using the toast component instance. I then define the hide toast event handler and invoke the hide method to hide it. After that, I import button styles and add margin style to align the buttons. Let me run the application using the command npm run dev. Now the page renders with the two buttons. When I click this button, the toast appears. After a few seconds, the toast will disappear. If I click this button three times continuously, three toasts are shown. 
When I click the hide all button, all the toast disappears. By default, the toast renders at the top left position. You can customize the position to five static locations around the target. They are based on the predefined X and Y positions. X has three positions, left, center, and right. Y has top and bottom positions. The default value of X is left and Y is top. To change the position of the toast, define an object named position with the X value set to the right and Y value to the top. Then bind it to the position property. You can see that the toast appears at the top right position. By default, the toast expires and disappears in 5 seconds. To customize the default timeout, use the timeout property. To demonstrate, I set the timeout property to 500 milliseconds. You can see that the toast disappears after 500 milliseconds. To show the toast for as long as you like, set the timeout property to zero. Check now, the toast remains visible until I click the hide all button. To close the toast using a close button, set the show close button property to true. You can see that the toast appears with a close button and closes when I click it. Finally, I will show you how to add HTML elements to the toast component using the template reference. First, I remove the existing title and content as they will be rendered through the template. Then I include the template tag with a template reference using vSlot directive. Inside it, to customize the toast content, I add two division elements for the title and content and an image tag for displaying the map. Here, I have added a few classes, toast content, toast title, and toast message for better alignment of HTML elements. I plan to display the toast without a close icon, so disable the show close button property by setting it to false, and add template property with appropriate slot name. In the style tag, I define those CSS classes and add the required CSS styles like panning. You can see when I click this button, the customized toast with HTML content appears. Let's summarize this video. I have shown you how to add the Syncfusion View Toast component to the View application. I have also shown you how to customize the toast positions, timeout, and the toast content using a template. If you want to try out the example used in this video, download it from that GitHub link in this video's description. I have also shared a link in the description to learn about obtaining a free license key to use our view components through our community license if you are eligible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.